it's interesting, you know, we, we live in the Bay Area and people will often, uh, I think, sometimes, mostly seriously, but sometimes mockingly talk about the idea of a safe space, right? That, you know, a place where you can bring all of yourself and you won't ever, you know, feel attacked or whatever, uh, which I think is a, a very valuable concept. But um, it's something I, I think about a lot because I just feel like I don't ever feel the sense that I'm in a safe space. I don't necessarily even want that. Um, and um, uh, because I, I just feel like what I am, who I am, how I think is um, often at odds with, with power structures. Uh, e even as I move through power structures, as a student at a university, or even as I move through pow power structures as a worker for the city of San Francisco or at a foundation, like those are power structures. But there's always for me like a kind of attention and contentiousness with these with these kinds of institutions and with power. Um, and so because I, I feel that, I think I I never feel safe, and I always feel that kind of vulnerability. Um, I think you know queer people have to live with that in so many ways and you know there's a, there's a bunch of different ways that it plays out you know like when queer people are being driven to the airport by their by their honey they sometimes have to make a choice will they kiss goodbye at the curb when they drop them off like and it's a question that I think queer people have to think about because that's a vulnerable position or even arriving at the airport and being greeted like if there's all these mobs of people there and you don't know who they are what they're about like is it safe to like kiss you know, um, and so, uh, and so that vulnerability is is always, I, I think, with me, and I always uh, kind of I walk with it, and uh, and I think for that reason I, I have a, a a fascination with and an interest in exploring the, the vulnerability of things.